Good luck to both of you. Touch him up. Some pride. Can Kelbrook follow in the footsteps? On the web, particularly in America yesterday, on the notion that they all right. Agreed, Bernard? Well, he looks good now. It's Dominic Wade trying to get in and land power shots. He takes Triple G. Triple G is setting him up, and if he stay on that rope... Body shot, Brooklyn with a body shot. If Cal Brooks stay on that rope, right now he's being overwhelmed and overpowered. You've got... Kel, Kel Brooklyn, just one punch. He's throwing a jab, Brooks, and throwing... One. Copy about Scott and landing jab. There's a good uppercut for Brook. Triple G will have a bigger and a greater chance in exchange. And how to avoid that right hand is not be on the ropes. Here's the left. Because of Kel being on the rope. Veteran referee Marlon Wright staying. And he don't want to be on the end of those punches. Thrown by both men. And if he's not first. Maybe he wants it that way, and they're trading in the center of the... Too brave would he get too comfortable because Triple G is a... And the left can landing a series of... When Triple G is coming in. Overcut by Brooke. Crowd comes up. But Brooke Brook comes back with a four-point stop. That left uppercut because he threw the right knee for it too brave, but smart enough to fight a smart man fight. The left can totally in agreement. He's trying to now rush because what is urgency? Is urgency from shots that he never got hit with? And I'm pretty sure the body with a three-punch combination. Triple G. Brooke was able to keep a lot of the action in the center of the ring where he likes it. Hard right hand by Golovkin. Just to now get confidence. If Brooke continue to win rounds because he's so confident that he can hit Brooke and maybe hurt him. And if he had landed it solidly, it could have hurt Golovkin. I think he is. I didn't Brooke is trying to build something memorable here. Bill yesterday may be thinking again that they were on to something. And Triple G is doing left and a straight right. Impressively, winning the admiration of the crowd. Hand of Brooke. And the punch is there because he's been now seeing a position of throwing the right hand, which he did. Hey, it's a matter of time. Just keep on it. I'm not okay? Seeming to feel a sense of urgency because Brooke at most. Gennady Golovkin finds himself, it appears, Boxing, moving, punching, slipping. Every now and then, book stays on. Keep moving left to right. As you see on the ropes, Triple's face right now is showing the effect of the power of Triple's the uppercut, whether it's coming from the left side or the right side. Golovkin sticking a jab. From the shots they've landed in the first three rounds. Here in the fourth. It looked like, it looked like Triple G is just actually there, but the speed is not there. It seemed like arm punches, like he's thought sharper, much cleaner. Yeah, See the shoulder by This Go is ahead. called the bait and switch. He pulled him in to counter him. I'm 37 Gennady Golovkin. You know, Jim, he got some jaw. I mean, I haven't seen a guy stand there and trade with Gennady And Golovkin delivers his fiercest rally of the fight. Brook to the ropes, Bernard. And Brook is putting his hands up like he wasn't hurt. Lashes out and manages to knock Golovkin back with a couple of right. And, and I believe he's hurt with this. And now Triple G is going to keep through the fifth round. And Golovkin is now in a straight right. And Dominic, Dominic, holding up a towel. Engel is trying to get referee Marlon Wright to stop the fight, and now he finally throws the towel into the ring, and Gennady Golovkin is going to have a technical knockout victory in round number five.